Welcome to another exciting episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where we have your favorite celebrities answering all your bagging questions honestly. Before we reveal who our guest for today is, let's take a quick break. Welcome back. Our guest for today is a crowd favorite. He's a Ghanaian actor and social media influencer. He has worked on many, many productions, including our very own YOLO and some Nollywood productions. But before I show him or introduce him to you, let's see some clips from his work. No shada, no shada. No see my boy with DB. So what happened? Anyway, what's up with you guys? Are you coming for the vacation classes? Huh? What question that? See, you see the first day, eh? it be me, I can't build the gates. Eh? The way I mean these vacation classes, eh? forget. Anyways, it's my can so you come in. My boy, me down, we did like coin. One side no go fear exists without the other. Where I go, he goes. <laughs> Don't get worried. Eh? Why are you speaking pigeon with us? You do realize you are your seniors, right? That's seniority thing, they are the end for school. Eh? Why do we the house? You say, if you make a handle, you speak. Hey, you! Ah. You are not serious. Anyways, we are, we are headed to the mall. Eh, hey, you know what? We go meet you for the I go raise Mark Anthony Kami. Tilly, we go vibe, eh? Look at text T. You know, see, I forget. I've been on, see, I started vibe T this morning. So, let's make a text on for Facebook. Oh! Well, what's she saying? I see them left. Ah, it's a long time I did see dress, dress, dress. Ah! They do slow too much. Uh-huh. So see me come in town for spin text there for your house. Mm. Why what's up? You didn't fear? Hey boy, you can't give me brotherly advice. If you want me to get for going house, yeah, what do you do? Eh, no fear, me could I deal with you. Hey, this boy, you are bad. Food is almost ready. Come for your food. Yeah. Mommy, I'm tired. Eh. Let, let me rest for some time. I'll eat later. So, how many girls have you sneaked into the room oh, like this? But I know they matter. Yes, it matters to me. Okay, be only you pay. How do you make girls come around room plenty like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. You cry. Why do you make me they talk plenty? Eh? They could just go straight to the point. Yeah, to this it. Okay, if you visit boy for the first time for your house, what what they go on? <laughs> you talk. Okay, if you go talk to finish, what they go on? Honestly, I've not been to a guy's house alone. You are my first. Yeah, we, we make a be your first and everything. You should know that he only lived. Where do you think you're going? Charlie, don't be hard on yourself, eh? Since then we this school, we never win that school before. Forget. No, you, you don't understand. They said when Flex was the captain, the team never lost this huge margin before. Ah, so it'll be your fault if Flex was the captain. You know be them not they vote for you. Charlie, forget it. Charlie, we class together this morning, sir. Ah, so you know the class together this morning? How you pack for the day? My books did my decks inside. So, what's in your bag then? I get wallets. I get slippers. Eh? And I get condoms. Condoms? Well, I be condom in the year before. 
condom. C O M O N. You know how they spell condom, sir? Masa, masa, I know how they spell it. I just want to make my boy smile. Okay, that's good. Condoms, you get plenty names. And you go fi call them rubber, you go fi call them CD. You go fi call them socks. Which one you want me to spell for you? C, C, C. You go there, explain, 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 tire. Eh? Make you spell condom. Come on for it. Come on, let's go. You need to brown me in. I didn't mean to. We were asked to do some work at the house. Ah, I can offer good at house, eh? I'm eh? sorry. You know you are. Please don't be mad at me, okay? Oh, come on. You are too pretty for me to get mad at you. Thank you. You know something? Make you go class, eh? If I your school mommy, then parties go can cause drama for you. Eh? Okay. And make you learn hard, though. I will. Boy, what's up? I don't tell you to make you know they drop from my top like that. What list is that, bro? This be the list of my girlfriends, eh? And they plan how I go line them up one after the other. I for take easy at self. To go home. What are they going to do for house? Sure. They go book some hotel crowd. But they actually go start this afternoon now. Me then Angela for the OH day. Then before preps, me then Bridget for the science lab. After preps, chucking with Celestina. You understand? So over the weekend will be the grand party. You see that my Accra girls check me. She they represent. So she should not really be like that. So I will meet them for the opening ceremony. Then after the race, the intense, me then Joanna for the sick day there. Which of the Joannas? Ah, the help prefers, of course. She address for fix some cramps, then she should be caring, so she go talk to me to meet for the, 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 the sick day there. Then the four days then they play the football and B ball semis. Me then Paulina for the OBH there. After that, me then Mariska for town. Bro, I don't really draw a plan for Sunday yet, but small time. Make can write down for yourself. Coming soon. Ah, bro, you said four o'clock. You'll be heading to where? The old block hotel with who? Paulina. Paulina. Exactly. Are you forgetting me? my match semi finals? It's four. Aren't you coming? Bro, why? Don't you believe you can make it to the semi finals? Ah, Charlie, when matter they tell me no. You don't see the whole school, nobody they believe in you past me. Eh? Surely it don't matter. Bro, no need to pretend. I know because of me, people think that the team is a, it's a whack team, bro. Boy, even me, they talk that matter too. You know how they spoil conversations too much? Ah, come off for it. The man himself, Mr. ODK. Hello, Anne. Oden Chem. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome to my set. How Thank are you? you? I'm good. Yeah? You look amazing. You're a very stubborn guy. Nah, I'm not stubborn. Because where I've been seeing you, you're a very stubborn guy. You where? have been seeing the streets of Chadu. That's why I used to live. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, ODK. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend that I don't know you for the sake of some of my viewers <laughs> out there. Tell me about yourself. Tell me. Well, how, who is who is ODK? Who are you? So my name is the Love August. Yes. I'm an actor, like you said. Yes. Uh, I'm from Keta. I grew up in Keta. Volta Bay. School in Keta. Keta School, the best high school in Ghana. Okay. If you don't Rep agree your with me, school, okay. If you don't agree with me, you can argue with your your, your friend, grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, from there I started acting. How yeah. in school in Keta or? Yeah, actually, I did some stage stage acting Drama, in high school. Yes, and how yeah. was that? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Would good. you say that that is where your love or like your passion for acting? Actually, before that, when right. when I was in, I watched things to do for love when I when I completed basic school. Okay. That was the only movie on my laptop. So right. I was, when I when I'm done watching, I'll I'll start watching again. On that. Yeah. And luckily for me, I played a role similar to my yeah. favorite character, who was. Pusha and things we do for love, and yeah, we are here today. Okay, and what about your parents? Like, do, do you are both of your parents here? No, no, they are in they are, they are in Keta. They all live in yeah, Keta. That is a pastor in Keta. So, so you've literally well, you live in Accra now. You've moved from Keta to yeah, come. Yeah, moved from Keta. I'm in Accra. Yeah, and how's that for you? Mm, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. How was growing up in Keta? Growing up in Keta. Yes. So. Uh, 
I went to basic school. In, okay, I lived in Kataba in JHS one. I went to basic school in Joje. Pardon? I went to a basic school like in JHS right, in Joje. Right. It's, it's a town in Water. Right. Called Joje. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my only school complex. Yeah. And from there. I, I, I came to Kita school. Yeah. My parents were really strict, especially yeah. my daddy. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then basically. Since you've been here, how has your parents' response been to the work you've done so far? Yeah, they are proud. At yeah. least I've proved to them that this is what I wanted to do and yeah. I'm doing it. So. And, and how did you get into acting? How did you get the Yolo gig, if, if I can ask? Yeah, so in 2016, yes. I... I went for auditions at Farmhouse Production. Right. And so how did you know that there was some kind of audition happening at Farmhouse? Okay, so there was this time, thanks to my mom. Okay. Yeah. My mom is Kwashiga. Right. Okay. So there was this funeral in, in Keta that my mom met with uh, Joseph Kwashiga, which is uh, director Ivan's right. brother. Right. And when she came back, I was like, ah, that's that is Ivan Kwashiga's brother, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, ah. She's the producer of Yolo. Link me, link me, I link me. I want to do Yolo. <laughs> she, she, she didn't take it serious at first. <laughs> Two days after, I was like, bro, I want to do Yolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she called him and he was like, I should come for auditions. So I went for the auditions and I wasn't Everything. called back oh. until 2019. Oh, no. They called me back. That so was the a good huge thing, so the good, so the good thing about farmhouse is, even if you audition in 2014, they still have your footages. But I forgot about it, trust me. One time I was just watching and my phone rang and I picked it up and they were like, okay, they have a role for me. I should come to the office and audition for the role. And that's how I started. And so you went and you auditioned and how was the audition? How was the whole process? It, it was good. I would say it was good. Yeah. So that's how come I even met uh, the director for the first time. Right. We are related, but I've never met him before. Right. So it's not links. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's because I was so a good from actor. from there on, <laughs> From the, um, what would you say your your delivery was? Did you would you say that you delivered to what they wanted? Uh, so, I was see honestly, I was stammering on the first day because <laughs> you are meeting Ivan Koshiga. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> just from the house yeah. and you're meeting Ivan Koshiga. But he took it easy with me. He was like, I should take my time. And uh, yeah. when I told him I'm August, he was like, oh, who's and I guess married Koshiga and I said, yeah, that's my mom. So he kind of made me feel a little bit comfortable before. That's Mr. Yeah. Ivan for yeah. you, yeah. 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 Okay, all right. That's nice. I didn't know that about you. Mm -hmm. Now you know. Okay, so after that whole session, the audition session, and then you acting, how did that affect your life or how did that change you as a person? Like, what has that done for you since that very day to now yeah so being this kid where you just sit down watching all these Ghanaian movies dreaming about being a magic Michelle one day and yeah today we are doing something in line with that is it feels like a dream it still feels like a dream because it was once just a dream and yeah. imagination and right now I'm living it and I'm just yeah glory to God yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you would you agree with with the sentence because a lot of people make the statement that you are like one of the most loved actors in yolo if not the most loved and everywhere i go a lot of people speak about you odike or denchem or denchem is a very bad guy this is that Who, um <clears throat> would you agree with that statement would you say yes yes i, I yeah, feel like i agree one yeah. off yeah favorite yeah yes and yeah. would you say that being the favorite one off the favorite YOLO cast or actors has given you more of like an advantage in this um, field that you are in? Yeah, honestly, I don't know how the director does his casting, but <laughs> when, I, when I got a script and yeah. I got to know that I'm playing this character, yeah. I was like, how am I going to do this? Because it's, it's right now that I'm a little bit hard. Though, right. yeah, at first I used to be just timid calm quiet so completely opposite of the character that you were you were yeah. given to portray I, I would say because i watched things to do for love consistently that's where i i kind of like um got a character character from yeah yeah, yeah. and would you say the character the director did a good job Perfect. by giving you that role the, Perfect. yeah i Perfect. think i think you are you are the yeah i also think you are the best person to act as a solid the best decision. 
All right, all right. Thank you. It was so nice getting to know you, but we need to move on to our next segment, which is honestly speaking. I'm going to have you answering the questions that okay. your fans have prepared for you. Let's Are get you ready? To it. All right, guys, when we come back from the break, we'll have Odenchem answering all the questions that you sent us honestly. And hopefully, he's honest about everything. If not, you know what to do. Speak in the comments section down below and we'll make sure that all your worries are sorted. See ya! Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking. I have the love August here with me, a.k.a. Adenchem. Are you ready to speak honestly? Ready. <clears throat> All right. So I don't know if you know, but the culture over here is that you need to make a promise. You need to promise to speak honestly. Promise me, promise the fans oh, okay. and everybody that okay. you are going to be honest. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I'm waiting. I promise to be honest from my heart. Completely and totally. Yeah, completely and totally. And if I lie... Okay. Let my fans come for me. Yeah, let them come for me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. The very first question is coming from Anita from Hacho. And she wants to know the relationship between you and Flex, offset and onset. Ah, uh, Flex. Yes. Willie Chambers. Okay, I would say Willie is my best friend. Right. Offset. Okay. In, in YOLO, we are like rivals, but... See... If you are Willie's girlfriend, and and I'm, I'm on a call with him, yeah, you'll get mad. Why? You can talk for hours. Right. Especially when we're about to uh, do season seven. Like, we, we're talking every day, thinking about how you will you kill the characters, how you... So, we went on set, and we did just that. We had yeah. two scenes, and we actually okay, met okay. in person to rehearse, and I would say he's also one of the... Uh, people's favorite character in yeah in yeah. Hey, why you shout my name like that? Oh, uh, if I cool down, and me then we will get some tumambi. What be that? Flex. You do some yawa be That yawa. If people hear, yawa. We yawa be that. That yawa pass the drug issue, sir. <laughs> What's that? If you go talk that thing, talk that thing, then show what they do. Oh, with the action that go be selling your daughter, you think say boy is so annoying. Come on for there, which kind of dirty accusation be that? You put this car and blade your body for the OBH there today, we are captured. Get evidence. But first of all, if I render public apology to my boy, my country, eh? you really worry that boy. You can go call on your captain. But people they my phone too. Ah, then go Roger. Two thousand Ghana CDs. Two thousand CDs. Yeah man. Uh, we, we, we have to do the tour. Yeah man. Because if you no do, my brother gets some party B way be blogger. I just go take give him. Hmm. My entire now you go here say SHS boy do. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Yo bro, you know. You, uh, I mean, where are you the one we can go find these two K for? Mama, yeah. mama, mama, don't mind the enemy, mama, da, eh? For so long yourself, you'll be puzzled, eh? <laughs> ah. You are yesterday to search me. I think i tell you something. I don't get anything to give you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Charlie, why not your money double? A triple save. <laughs> I didn't listen to you, so I'm saying. You don't see the girl guest here. Yeah. <laughs> when mommy say they can't be so many beds. So when the guys with the Mac in, in daughter. So me and I just go go talk say to you. <clears throat> Make it just calm down. Yeah. At the bag, at the bag. Yeah. Uh, uh, the money you mention, I look if you afford them, so I'm saying. Yeah. How much you get? I know. I get like 500 for you, something. 500, yeah, you know, be half safe with that, eh? But you take care. So, I'm going to go. Oh, oh, but 
Actually, I just give you 500 CDs, I'm saying. What's up? You shall me for 1,005. One triple I'm safe. Why you go take car, go hospital. Wait for go do the test. Wait. If you go safe, we get the STI for three times. So we have to consider you. Let's time use condom. Every day is what I'm saying, is what I'm saying. You know they use condom. Let's time use condom. You there here? So the two of you are the best pair. Yeah. Yeah, you would say Even that. Even though we are rivals, but right. <laughs> we try our okay. best to, to kill the scenes. Yeah. yeah. Keep your enemies closer, yeah? yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Anita also wants to know if there's a difference between ODK, the character ODK, and the love, I guess. You know those two characters? Is there a difference or are they the same and one? Like I said, I used to be very timid, right. shy, and so... But I feel like the key word here is used to, but she's asking for now. Like, are they the same people? No, or they are not. They are not the they same, not people. The same people. Okay, Anita, there you go. He claims that they are not I'm the Mark same Anthony people. I'm Mark Antonio in real life. Really? Yeah. I find that very hard to believe. Yeah. Rolla? Probably because I'm a good actor, thank you. You just promise <laughs> to be honest and you're lying. I am, I am. I'm honest. Man. The fans will come for you, yeah, not come. me. I'm waiting. Yeah. Okay, number three. Solomon from Botiano. Am I saying that right? Botiano. Mm -hmm. Botiano wants you to tell us the craziest thing you have ever done for love. See, I've not fallen in love before. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I've never fallen in love. I've don't not do been that. In love. You guys come on here and you trust like, me. I'm not. What do you mean? I don't know what it feels like to be in love. What do you mean? That's I, a lie. I don't know. The only you love, don't love your parents. Yeah. You don't love your siblings. So the only you love, love I know, the only love I know is my the, the love I have for my parents, my siblings, and my friends. So you're telling me that you've never had a girlfriend? I have, but so what was going on between your girlfriend? I'm sorry, but. I've not been in love. Wow, you're a liar. I'm a liar. You're such a liar. This I'm, is not. This I'm is... trying to. I'm learning to love. Really? I've been learning to love. So, have you ever had anyone love you? I don't know. You would have to ask them. What do you mean? How do you not know if anybody loves you? So, you've never. So, you're telling me. Then you're in such a sad, sad no, situation. No, it's not sad. It's not, it's not sad, sad situation. that you don't like. You, don't, you are lying. It's sad that you are lying. It's sad that I'm lying. That's what's going <laughs> on. You are lying. But I've not been in love before, honestly. Are you sure? Yeah, in honestly. all honesty. Honestly. You've not even been interested in anybody romantically. Oh, oh. Have you been in love? Me, yeah, have, so. You've been in love. I love everybody. I love plenty. I love. All things. I, if I see you, I will love Is you. Is that the love you are, you are talking about? I'm, I love. I have. I've been in love. I've been in love. In love with love. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> I don't understand. But let's go. Guys, I know you are lying. Guys, please comment in this specific video that ODK is lying so that we can bring him back and get him to answer this <laughs> same specific question again. Hopefully, by that time, I'll he would have found someone Thank you. that he's in love with. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Mabel from Awoshi. Mm -hmm. She wants to know what the celebrity life is like, you know, how it's going, if you're enjoying it, what it comes with. Do you know something? What? I, I kind of cringe when people call me style celebrity. Just call oh, me actor. Why? Just call me an actor. Why? You're a star. Mm -hmm. You are the star of the show. And when I tell you that you have star qualities, mm -hmm. you know? You're a good actor. I was actually speaking with my friend about your character mm -hmm. and he was so in love with your character, the way you acted. He was at a premiere for season seven and he said, to be honest, you're his favorite. Even though he's my friend, you are his favorite actor. Okay, you're so that, that makes you a celebrity. Yeah, you're a star now. That okay. makes you a celeb. Oh, that's not what So how does like. it feel? Yeah, how does it feel From, to be loved by people you don't know, to yeah, be respected, it's, it's, to be revered? It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Sometimes you can just be bored in your room and you know you have nothing doing and the only thing that can like make you happy right now is to go live on Instagram or yeah. go live on TikTok and just see these amazing messages from all these people. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. I've right. been so bored in the room before. So bored that you don't know what to do. Um, not really. I yeah. kinda like keep myself entertained. Yeah. So many when days. that happens to me, I go live on Instagram, I go yeah. live on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Right. Speaking on message messages, um, um, hey Charlie, this name dear. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me skip the name. Ama from Tema mm -hmm. wants to know between Tilly and Ariana, who will you choose to be your girlfriend in real life, and why? In real life, who? And why? Tilly and Ariana. 
Yeah. The person's name is Ama, right? Yeah. I'm sure Ama wants me to say Ariana, so let me just say it for her. Ama. Really? You want me to say Ariana, so let me just say it for you, okay? And she said she wants to know, she um, she said she wants to know because people are shipping you guys already. Yeah, so she wants to know if the ship can actually sail. No, actually she's my she's my closest, one of my closest. Yeah. Among us. So. Yeah. So you think you could date her if she said if like I think I could date if, her if I say Yeah, you know. If there was a thing. No, my mind is not there right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. I feel like Amma will be so disappointed. You guys think he's speaking the truth? Yes. No, that's <laughs> a lie. I think he's lying and if you do too Say that in the comment section so that we can bring him back here and grill him. Mm -hmm. We have two more questions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And, um, ooh, Mabel wants to know what the craziest message you've had, like you've received in your DM is, and what your response was. It was from a girl. Okay. She wanted a one line stand. Ooh, frisky. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joking, what was your response? How did you, wait before you even tell me your response? Why did you feel seeing that message? Did you feel like, hi, God, I've made it? Yeah, <laughs> like, I've made it how? You know, like, hi, girls are texting me. I actually heard here. Really? Yeah. You didn't respond? Yeah. You didn't feel like responding? No, you don't want to engage. Why? Yeah. Why is that? She's your fan. What if you engage? And but you could have said no politely, like, oh, thank you so much for the offer, but. I think know. that's more rude. No, no, that's you actually saying, listen, I appreciate the offer, but not today. It's oh, not me. Okay. Maybe next you know, time so I'll next time she has that. another offer, she wouldn't be shy to okay. offer. Maybe that's the offer that you like. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> that's not the offer I would like. <laughs> oh my God. Are you ready for your last question? Yeah. Um, eh, this question is from Ben mm. from Jamestown. And he wants to know what your biggest fear in life is. Mm. Losing my parents. See, I can't. I can't think you about can't that. No, I can't think so about well. that. I can't think about it. Yeah. Please, they should, just, they should just leave forever. Yeah. yeah. But you know that's impossible. I, I feel like that's such a, um, a burden yeah. to to carry because yeah. it's something that you, it's inevitable. You yeah. know, everyone's parents will die yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. You know. But I don't even want to think about yeah, it. Yeah, when you think about yeah. it, look at right now, you are sad. Mm -hmm. Laugh for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's we've come Sorry. to the end of this segment. So we're moving on to the next segment, which is rapid fire. But I need to take a quick commercial break so mm. we can have a breather. Mm. Yeah, okay, viewers. When we come back, ODK will be answering some rapid fire questions. Don't forget to drop questions, names, tag any celebrity that you want us to bring on Honestly Speaking, and we'll bring them here and get them to speak honestly. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. You're still watching Honestly Speaking. Our next segment is Rapid Fire. Are you ready for the fire? Let's go. Are you ready to fire? Let's go. Are you ready for the fire? Let's ring? go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ten solid questions. I think you have about five seconds. Okay. So answer each of them. <sighs> Don't think twice because then otherwise it's not rapid. Uh, you understand? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Number one. Beard or no beard? Beard gang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see clearly. <laughs> Uh, Netflix and chill or dinner day? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. You're a bad guy, didn't you? Why? You're a very bad guy. You're a bad guy. Okay. Yeah, Netflix and <laughs> chill is yes, yeah, for bad men and women. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Cookathon or Singathon? Cookathon. I'm a good chef. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I'll hold you on to that one day. Let's go. I'll come search for you in the kitchen. Anytime. Yeah? Tall girl or short girl? Tall girl. I don't want to give her to short kids. Ah, yeah. you, you are not, saying? Not tall girl, taller girl. Let me just say, a girl taller than me. Yeah. I will, I, I'll keep my reservation, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> uh, kind of reserve my thoughts. Um, pictures or videos? Pictures. Pictures? Yeah. Why? I think video. Simple. Okay, yeah. simple, plain. Afro beats or hip hop? Afro beats. Afro beats? Yeah. Support your own. Mm -hmm. Snapchat or Instagram? Instagram. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trendy. Hey! Ronaldo or Messi? Yeah, the best player in the world, Ronaldo. What do you mean, Ronaldo? It's Messi. It's never what are you Messi. talking about? Let's go to the next question. What, are you, guys? <laughs> One night stand or friends with benefits? And you said I have five seconds for this. Yes. One, hurry up. Pa, 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 pa. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 15, verse 19, for the heart of man come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, fornication, theft. So it means the Bible is against fornication. So I cannot choose either of them. I'd have to go with the Bible. I will stick by the words of the Bible. Amen. Amen, somebody. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I need to answer for you. He's going to be like a friend to benefits guy. He'll try and tell you that, oh, he doesn't do love, but he's there for you, you know. I'm right, That's right? That's what you think. He doesn't do love, but he's there for you in your hard, difficult times. He'll be there for you if you need a shoulder to cry on. But when you need someone to act as a man and love you, he's nowhere to be found. Woohoo! So answer one night stand or friends with benefits. Like I said, I'll stick by the words of the Bible. That is what. Amen. Lover boy or gangster? I want to be in love, so I'll choose lover boy. You just literally said, okay, you know what's yeah. fine. Lover boy, he said. Guys, do you think he's been honestly speaking? Do you think this guy has been truthful? Yeah, I have. I strongly disagree. Oh, that's why, a, why that's a foul statement oh, that you've just you made. That? He's been lying, guys. Send in more questions for a, um, ODK. Send in more questions for ODK, please. <laughs> I'd like, love to be back, though. Yeah, I want to have you back here. I'm going to prepare myself for you because okay. I feel like you are, you are taking advantage of my nice nature. Mm -hmm. and my. Do you understand okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. I, I loved having you. You've been, thank you. I think you've been my favorite guest so far. Oh, that sounds nice. Yes, 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 yes. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Before I let you leave, is there anything that you want to say? Is there any upcoming projects that you have coming that you want to share with us? Yeah, I have a couple of projects coming up, but I don't have to disclose it. So, you can't disclose. Yeah. Okay, what's your message for the fans? It's a new year. What Guys, do you want for the year? year? You. I love you all. Keep supporting me and keep loving Yeah. Me. Kisses. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Honestly Speaking. It's been great. It's a very special thank you to ODK for showing up. Also, very special thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel for providing us with the space to get our celebrities honestly speaking. Don't forget to drop the questions that you want to ask your favorite celebrities, anything that is bugging you, anything that is nugging you, and we'll get them to answer it over here. This is Honestly Speaking, I'm Anna Zarbu, your host. See you same time next week.